A small but important concept to understand about Studio One is that when we are recording audio and we end up with audio events like we have here, if we delete these from the arrange view, this is not actually deleting them from our computer or even our song. So if you're working on a track where you're recording multiple takes of a particular instrument part or vocal part and you, on your track, you keep removing the ones that you're not happy with, those are building up, so to speak, on your hard drive and within your song. So here I've got track eight and I've recorded a little audio part here and we can see that that's labeled as track eight. So if I select this event and press delete to remove that, okay, it's gone from our arrange view. It's no longer in this song in our arrange view. But if I come to browse and let's click on the pull tab here, we can see that the track eight is still here. And I can left click and drag that back into our arrangement. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and select that and we'll delete that back out again. So one thing that I tell my students is that once you are finished with your song and you're sure that you don't need to make any other changes and you're not gonna use any of the older parts that you've recorded and maybe removed from the arrange view, it can be a good idea to clean them up from your hard drive. So the way that we could do that is if I right click while we're in the pool, we can see in this menu that shows we can remove unused audio files. So I'll go ahead and click once on that. And we can see all of these audio files are within the pool, but they're not used within our song. Now, if we go ahead and click on yes, it's gonna remove them from the pool, but they'll still be on our hard drive. So I'm going to deselect all of these top ones here and just leave the track eight, which we can see here. And I'll go ahead and click on yes we can see that that's removed from our pool. But let's shift and F to exit out of the full screen mode and I'm gonna to come to the Windows Explorer. Now here is our track, are you sure you're okay? We can see, are you sure you're okay? Now I'll double click on this. Let's come to the media folder. And we can see that our track eight is still here on our hard drive. Now this is only two megabytes, but as you can imagine, if you've done tons of takes that you've removed from your arrange view or from the pool, that's gonna build up over time. Now I can come here and just select that and I'll go ahead and delete it. That's been removed from the hard drive. But if you would like to remove your unused audio recordings from the pool and your hard drive as well, we can again right click, remove unused files. We've got everything that's selected that's not in the arrange view. But now I'm gonna click on the delete files permanently. So I'll select that and let's click yes. Okay, we can see that they're removed from the pool, but now also if I come to that media folder, they've also been removed from our hard drive. So this is just an important idea to keep in mind when you're working with Studio One and you are interested in saving space on your hard drive. And again, I always recommend to my students to do this after you're 100% sure that you're finished working on your song and you're not gonna need to come back to the pool and pull any other audio files in if you end up unhappy with your current with what you're currently using within your arrange view. Okay, so we'll wrap up here. I hope this has been helpful. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one web training with me over Zoom with Studio One, I do provide that and you can find out more information by checking out the link in the pinned comment below or the description area of this video. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next tutorial.